ladies and gentlemen. You know, they are very nervous about this heat wave reaching the Arctic and melting the ice sheets. They're saying this heat wave alone could raise the sea level 23 feet worldwide. I was looking at other articles on here, um, the Washington Post and a few more different articles. Ladies and gentlemen, this same heat wave is going to Greenland. So if you're talking about 90 and 100 degrees in the Arctic, yeah, that's why they're saying this can be catastrophic. And again, another thing they have never seen before. So Europe's heat wave could now cause catastrophic melting of Greenland's ice sheets. It's not just Europe that's sweltering in record-breaking heat. The same heat wave that swept across Belgium, France, Germany, the Netherlands, and the UK this week, breaking high temperature records, reaching up to 114 degrees. What is rafting over to Greenland and could cause catastrophic melting, the United Nations said Friday. So they are actually scared about this thing happening. Reuters report that the heat could cause record-breaking melting of the world's largest ice sheets contributing to rising sea levels around the globe. 23 feet globally. That's how high the sea level can rise. The Greenland ice sheet has been struggling in recent scorching weeks, according to Denmark, data tracking the gains and losses of the ice mass. In July alone, it lost 160 billion tons of ice through surface melting, said UN. Okay, so what they're saying is this heat wave that's about to hit in that area will accelerate it to speeds that could cause a lot of problems globally. So if Greenland's ice sheet melts entirely, it would rise global sea levels by seven meters or approximately 23 feet. Denmark data shows Nullis says rising temperatures, which are linked to man-made climate change, are expected to soar past records uh, regularly by 2015. The biennial heat waves we saw with this one was the temperature records weren't just broken, but Nullis, they were smashed. Wow. So I know just looking at all of the reports, all eyes are going to be on this area over the next few days. And they're saying this could be really bad, y'all. This could be pretty bad. So we shall see what happens. I just, in my mind, cannot imagine the Arctic in the 90s. Or Greenland. I mean, this is just mind boggling that the temperatures can actually get that high there. And I tell you what, if it goes on long enough, you know, this heat wave that's about to hit that area, it may not be any ice left. It'd be very little ice left in that area, you know, especially on the surface of the water you know, where you see a lot of it, boy, it is no telling what microbes will be released out into the ocean. Woo, man, stay out of the water. You just don't know what might happen under these kind of circumstances. 
but I'm just blown away with the amount of heat we have seen worldwide this year. And it just seems like, you know, most of the scientists are saying that this is probably going to be the norm. And that's scary. You know, after losing power in my area, now, you know, I kind of got it on my mind now with this next upcoming heat wave starting on Sunday. So this thing is supposed to go from Sunday all the way through Wednesday of next week. So we're going back into the 90s, I think about four consecutive days, you know. So when you have a lot of people in those kind of temperatures, they tend to run the air for long periods of time, trying to stay cool and keep their home cool. And it is pure hell on the grids in this country, which I was told are not in good shape. You know, just from what I was reading online, you know, many of these power grids are very outdated and that's how it is in all of the states around the country. It's really, you know, it's like hit or miss. You don't know what area is going to lose power. Um, so I just hope that everybody is safe. You know, please stay safe during this next heat wave. And I'm sure there's going to be more in August, you know. Sometimes August can turn out to be an even hotter month than July. I've seen years like that before, especially coming up. So, you know, I hope that everybody stays safe. Keep plenty of fluid in your home, you know, not only for yourself, for your pets. And check on your loved ones, especially the elderly in your family. You know, a lot of times, many of them are in homes and they may not have adequate air in those homes, you know, and there are so many things we have in place today. There's no need for people to be out there having heat strokes and dying and all that stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, we shall see. I'm going to definitely keep my eye on this part of the world because I have never heard of the Arctic hitting 90 degrees. <laughs> I just, I just, this just blows my mind that that is what's coming in Greenland and the Arctic. I, I just, what the hell is going on with this weather? Oh man, I tell you the most high is busy. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.